anyway, back to the VOD review. Um, this is you are Retta. Um, it's 20 minutes. I'm not sure if I'll go through all 20 minutes as I think sometimes you find like kind of like the big points halfway through. Um, so let's get started on this VOD review. And then we have one more after that, but that one's a minute long. Hopefully I get something out of it. I usually like at least 10 minutes, at least 10. Um, but we'll try getting that minute one and see what we can do with it. Um, I think they failed there. TK into gold burst, that's fine. Honestly, like, it kind of sucks. I personally don't like bursting against Soul until I get hit, but you're kind of in a bad position, so it's fine. Getting the little schmix. I'm gonna see how round two goes for now. A little, a little better in the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're throw taking and soul a little too much. He's kind of banking on that to kill you. But that's okay sometimes. Huh. Nice, nice editing. It seems like you might be a little uncomfortable with your options. Uh, but I'll just keep watching for a little bit and then I'll kind of turn it back. Yeah, he's got he's got the shrinks. Yeah, this is kind of what I'm saying. You might be a little uncomfortable with your options. Um, throughout the whole set, if you kind of watch what you're doing. Um, so you kind of get in right here. You're, you're in. You, 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 you've you already dashed up. And maybe you're like baiting something. But uh, you have to start pressure during this whole two, three rounds. Um, you don't really start any pressure. And you kind of get a couple of hits. And then you kind of just throw it away. Um, once you kind of get in there, you need a you need a stick, uh, or people are just gonna start back dashing and just disrespecting you, because right here, like you just press close slash and you get smacked. But he does he does he does two p, which is a four frame anyway, so it's pretty safe. But you should be able to start pressure. Um, you still have not started pressure yet, and then okay, let's jump. That say jam soul? I don't think that's a say jam. It could be. Um, you're gonna also need to find something safer to do right here. Um, it, you've done this three times already, and it's gotten you killed three times. Um, Daru is minus seven. Minus seven. I'm almost sure. Minus seven to ten. Um, they could close slash you here and die, especially against Soul. You did not want to do this. Um, your pressure should start being. Um, you could do like stagger pressure. Um, yeah, yeah, a little bit. So you get far slash. You do like, yeah, I think it's ten. Um, you get far slash. You do far slash into Reka one if you want, and then just, and then Reka one's minus ten, so you could force them to press a button or something, or you could do. You actually run up and probably get a close slash there. You can do you go far slash, heavy slash, and then you could threaten rock or sword. Um, at that far 
flip kick, it would be spaced. So it's hard to flip kick again since he has a three frame though. So you just gotta be watch out for that. Um, so you use flip kick very lightly against the characters. Um, but um, yeah, close slash or far slash 2H, probably definitely not the route to go. Far slash Rekka 1, even if Rekka 1 whiffs, you have so much recovery on it, you're fine. But doing Daru on block, I mean, like, I know some people try, like, uh, some people, like, delay mash after 2H, so Daru will catch delay mashing or uh, jumping out. Um, but it's, it's just too risky. Um, it's just too risky to do versus someone that seems to be pretty good. Um, and then... Yeah, minus 10, right? So you're going to get far slash, or you're going to get close slash, as you doing right now to you. And, like, this is against a good soul. You're, you're taking 60%. So you just have to kind of evaluate the risk-reward of the pressure you are running. Um, so let's kind of continue. Maybe, maybe it could help some pressure, yeah. Um, also, against, against soul, like, you got you to think of, you gotta think of what... Their options are um, when, like, so right here, right? He close slashes you, he's about to do a little watch of damage, you burst him out. This is a fine position from you. You're mid screen, he's corner, right? You panic throwing sword here is a little. You've done this twice, um, if I'm not mistaken, already um, in these two games, or you just panic throw a sword and someone just went under, or um, you don't need to throw a sword. Once you lose H sword, a lot of your pressure kind of. I mean, you have far slash still, but your pressure still becomes a little not too great. Um, so I, I, I throw a sword sparingly, only if you know they have to block it, or only if you know they can't do anything out of it. Um, a better thing to do here is just take up this space right here under clock, um, and then just wait for Soul to do something. Um, none of his buttons could really reach you. The only thing you could do is IED out, uh, bandit, or just dash block forward. Most good souls are going to dash block forward, unless they see you do something like this. Um, bad souls are going to viper out. Um, you just you're just ready for two S there, and if you're ready for two S, you're ready for IED out. So this is a great spot to be against soul. Um, and they're doing nothing if they're blocking. Then you could just run your far slash pressure. Um, so um, as you see here, he was he saw you throw a sword and reaction just did that. Um, Against like Nago, maybe it's fine. Um, maybe. But even then, like being that far, he's just gonna clone Fukio at you if you're not already already jumping, um, like after the sword. So like just just holding that space is a little better um, than that. And then yeah, you went for another riskier option, Daru. Um, it's fine to go for risky options, but I think you have to present a lot of good options before you go a little risky. So that was a nice TK. So so I'm happy. Yeah, that, that's, that's the problem with using flip kick against Saul. Um, they could punish it. Um, that wasn't a punish, so maybe you just pressed. Um, or maybe you just weren't blocking. Um, so maybe he can't punish it. What is it? Minus... I thought it was minus three. Might be wrong there. I thought it was minus three. Um, so he should be able to 5k punish it, but I'm not sure why it did say punish. Um, but in general, your pressure. So you got a close slash here. Um, you got a close slash here, right? Like you got your pressure. This is great. Once you go to two H, all of your all of your pressure is gone. Uh, this soul no longer is respecting you at this point. Um, you wreck a one, and he does not have to respect wreck a two. And then um, he's just he's just blocking until until you can't play anymore. Um, so you kind of have to go into close slash two S um, as like a frame trap. Um, and then um, close s 2s leaves you close enough for for Reco one stagger. Once you go into close s 2h, you're too far for a close slash stagger, so or Reco stagger. So he fd you out. Now you get Reco one, and now he could just back dash. He could jump out if you go for Reco two delay Reco two. He you could five k, two d. Um, so um, I would try close slash 2s and kind of see where that leads you rather than close slash 2h. Um, and then you could do close slash 2s like 5h, and especially with rock, like you do close slash 2s rock. Um, and then once you get them into the corner, it becomes like a triple guessing game. You could do close slash rock, close slash 2s rock, 2s rock, 
close as 5H rock, stuff like that, or close as 5H sword throw. So you just have more options not using 2H. Um, 2H is very, very, very committal. Um, very negative, not that great of a move. Even the combo that you get off hitting close, I mean, like, you're going to need to just hit confirm, not hit confirm it, but just be ready for the combo after because it's counter hit, and then they're going to launch really high, so then you have to time your daughter after, and then you get a big combo after, but, like, even even the counter hit 2S is a little bit better of a route that you could do if you do get a counter hit um, in general. So... I feel you. It was a little, it was a little panicky. Alright, the six Bs against Johnny aren't bad. Nice bar slash off that. Again, I, I still watch out for flip kick. It is still negative. It is a good button still. Like, you still use it. Um, some characters will just take their turn back, though. So it might be a little better doing other stuff. Especially if you haven't represented Rock. Uh, making them... Forcing them to interact with Rock is probably something a little better. Because, yeah, you lost your turn right there. Got him in step dash. You might be, you might have been trying to Daru round start there because you 5 P'd. Um, I'd also refrain from that. I, I, I'd i like to see consistent pressure rather than risky stuff. Um, especially as you're starting out. Okay, nice combo. That's fine. I know you're probably Daru and Daru there. I miss that all the time too. Alright. Uh, this pressure. This pressure is also a big one. Rams mess up a lot. Why don't you throw a sword throw here? Five. Uh, heavy, uh, far slash isn't bad, but you have to do it a little sooner to jail, um, to jail the, the sword throw. Um, what I like doing after this, I like waiting. Um, so you do this. Um, yeah, some people could just get out of it. Um, you know, maybe at that range you get, you know, raw misfinder by Johnny, but it's fine. Um, Sorry, I don't know where. Right, right here. So this is what I was talking about earlier. You threw sword on ram. You forced him to block. Now you're under the clock. You don't really like this is this is a great spot for you. You don't really have to do anything. Only a couple characters could contest you from here. Um, if you want, you could chase. You could take chase jump out. Uh, so he's gonna jump out here. This would be in like a really easy five P or two or P, P P P P in the air and take him down, crank his risk. And then if he doesn't jump, you just you know you you have this to work with. The only thing he could do is miss finder minus five minus fifteen. You punish it right, or or he could step dash, or he could six K. Um, six K is minus five or seven. Um, minus five or seven. So you could you know you could take your turn back even if they do that. So they don't have that many options here. And you kind of have to evaluate that yourself when playing Ram. Like, okay, I threw sword. What could he do? He could step dash. Nice. I could check that with anything. Oh, he could jump out. Oh, I could chase that with five P the P's in the air. And you could do this on reaction too. Um, so you kind of just have to, and let's say like straight up instant IAD out, um, which then you could be ready for six P, but you know what happened? You, you committed to five H and he's just like, all right, whatever. Uh, jumps out. Um, once you're under the clock with Ram, you'd really want to kind of lock them down. Um, that's your, that's your, sorry, I wanted to see. Yeah, I failed burst bait. Honestly, you close slash there and then you could burst bait after, but whatever. We won't talk about that right now. 
Um, I'd like to see a little more rock after 5H2 because they don't seem to be respecting it at all. Let's block. You look a lot more comfortable against his Johnny. He is a lot worse than that soul, but you do seem a lot more comfortable. Uh, that it is insane, but you are jumping a little, a little too much. You see how every kind of two seconds you're jumping. He's kind of seeing that, and he that's why he's pressing 6K. Um, jump back S isn't bad though, but yeah, um, especially against Johnny, like it's it's fine to be grounded. It's fine to play grounded against this character. What's up, Happy? Um, it's fine to play grounded against this character. Um, he has great buttons, right? Um, but, like, if he tries misfindering you with no card, he's a minus, and then his step dash uh, doesn't allow him to block, so putting out, like, far slashes and, and two S's isn't too bad against him, six P's. Um, you, once you start showing that you're going to jump, they're just going to start hitting 6K because they get massive reward, right? Um, he got out. Yes. First, uh, another tip with Ram, um, you could press, so you threw sword. I know you're probably like going in really excited to press a button. Uh, you could just do dash and hold back and then it'll burst bait. Uh, yeah, you would have got a burst, but we might've been close slashing already, but just, just remember how you could just do that. Yeah, you see, you see, once you press 2H, most players just are like, what the hell are you doing? Like, once I see this, I'm like, what are you doing? Because um, there's no way you could chase me. Because close slash 2S, yeah, I, I can still get chased. Um, and then he's just like, what, what are you doing? And then just backdashes out and then yeah, you just die for it. It's way too risky. You got to definitely change your pressure up there. Close slash 2S. Rekka 1, close slash, 2s, 5h, rock, type, type thing. Your, your, your combos could use a little work, but honestly, like I think you are losing on your own offense right now. Um, your combos are fine enough. Like, they're giving you enough damage. Yeah, again, you just auto dash block that. He has a lot of free jump ins on you. Um, just watching this, see see if I see any anything crazy. I don't want to stop during everything because um, I, I do think um, your jump bag S's could be a little better. Um, that was that one's fine, but a lot of your ones are coming out a little too slow, um, especially uh, back dash S um, or air dash back S. You want to like do them and then get them really low. Um, you're kind of like lazily doing like a weird jump back. Um, you kind of gotten like hit for it a couple times, but it's okay. Um, yeah, if you just do like the IED back jump S S, it's it's it's, it's really good, especially against characters like. Johnny that can't really contest that space unless they um, commit. Kind of kind of happens here, yeah. You got you gotta really want to get that really fast jump back S so you can get back on the ground and start playing the game again.
again, you do, you do it here again. Like, um, you need in your jump back asses and your jump asses need to be a little a little quicker. Okay, so you got that. His meter here is fine. Nice, nice check. Perfect. I like that. I like that play. You. This is kind of what I want to see in the corner too. You know, you kind of look. You're looking at his bar. You're like, okay, I don't have to make any big risk. He's in a bad spot. He has a bunch of meter. If I fuck up, I die. Boom. Right. You just take your time. You let him make a mistake. That's kind of what I'm talking about when you play in the corner. He's in the corner. He's in the bad spot. You're not in the bad spot. You don't have to make a crazy decision. You could put pressure, uh, but you just want to make sure your pressure is, is is fine. Once you get them to block and not do something stupid out the corner, um, because you're gonna punish them for it by you know doing something jump out, or catching a jump out, or catching a dash in, or catching a button, um, then you could start putting more pressure and more pressure. But you, know, you don't want to do anything too risky. Um, right off the bat. Again, I, it, it's nice to show, hey, I have consistent pressure before you start showing some crazy shit because no one's going to respect your crazy shit if you're not going to do anything consistent. So this matchup is a little harder for Ram. Again, like, um, I, I just want to kind of like put this in your head. Um, a better player will not let will, will kill you for this um, and they kind of he already did there doing, doing that kind of jump back s or jump s is is not too good s xp if, if you want something better there uh, you keep getting this which is great this is great uh doing jump back d into 214 s is a lot better or jump back k to 2 and 4s is a lot better um i'm not sure if you could link h into 2 and 4s i'd be surprised but um you're kind of getting this and this happens every time uh you get a knockdown okay nice i like that rock pressure that you're doing there uh sadly geo is one of those characters that does not have to hold rock so um um it ends up being a little bad but like honestly it's still fine to do sometimes Okay, nice. You start doing the 5H rock instead of doing flip every time. Okay. Maybe a little trigger happy on the Murbato. Because so like the RPS you're playing with rock, right? Um, this is this is what you're gonna be playing. You, know, you do this, you do rock, and then they're gonna try stepping in, and then they're gonna try getting in because they're like, oh, he's gonna rock. I'm gonna try getting in. They try getting in. You 6p them away and you kind of repeat the process if you want to do this rock rock game um we were bought to a little a little a little, a little too committal for the position you were in you were in a pretty good position a normal 6p you would have been fine but i get it. you probably thought they were committing um so that's fine but um just be ready to like yeah that was a better jump back guess that was a better jump back guess um than the ones you've been doing nice Two and four H does more damage there, but that's fine. You don't really care about damage for these. Yeah, that's. You definitely want to present a little more options rather than just TK, um, 2 and 4 s um, round start. You need to get out of this corner. <laughs> You've tried pressing a button out this corner too many times. At this point, you just double jump out or an IAD out. You should not be holding this. 
you you they, you've been able to jump out and they've been doing a move right here so many times you should have already been out the corner luckily you got out eventually but i'm telling you um if, if you you know maybe like the first two times it's it, it, you know that's fine but by the third one you should you, sh you should you should be planning an escape route that isn't jump back in the corner because so jump back in the corner beats like anti-air right so if anyone's trying to like um 6p you or air grab you or just check you with jump peas bad jump back in the corner is fine because you could run under or after um or just contest uh the whiff um but once you once you jump out of the corner with a button it's kind of weird because you should be jumping out of the corner like you should be jumping out with a button rather than jumping back in your own spot Especially with such a committal button as jump S or jump H. Um, again, someone could just snipe that and you could just die. Um, especially two, three times. Um, you, you should be thinking of ID, double jump, super jump type thing out. Um, you're holding a little, a little too much. Um, I, I saw you do it the other side of the corner too. I just want to see if you do it again or if it was just a one-time thing. Um, Plan to get out of the corner and not jump back in. Um, and if you are jumping back in, make sure it's for a reason. Like, hey, this guy is chasing me upwards a lot of the time. I'm just going to jump, do an empty jump. Um, but yeah, like jump S there. Like it's it's like you aren't going to beat someone that's going under you. Like you can just six P or 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 do something to beat that. It works sometimes, but man, you you want to you want to be consistent. You don't want to just do something that works sometimes. I like these videos are definitely showing uh, a little bit of your weaknesses. It's fine. Yeah, you 6P'd there last time. I'm surprised you didn't go for 6P again if it worked. Just just as another another tip, like when you're doing these air buttons, think of I need I need to get a knockdown. So when you do jump K, you aren't just looking for jump K to hit. You're looking for like either jump K into 2K 2D or jump K into 214S, depending on which kind of jump K you're doing. Um So yeah, like if you weren't going for, if you're too far away for that. You should, you should definitely be confirming it to two one four S for hard knockdowns. It'll, it'll it'll make your life a little easier than having to play the game again to get your offense going. Unfortunate wall break, but only six P. Yeah, I like this offense switch. Yeah, so he's, he's just reading you jumping out now. You've done it every single time. So you really got to choose choose something that uh, you, I, th I, th I think you might be a little too comfortable just doing jump, jump out with button or jump up with button and hope they run into it. Okay, I'll grab. Yeah, but that two H pressure, we gotta change that a little bit. Again, like I just want to reiterate the structure um, of what you could be doing instead. Um, if you do this, Reco one, that's fine. But then like you could have done close slash two H two S, close slash, and then like run up close slash or something. Even though that that. They could match out of that. Um, you could do close S, 2S, 5H rock, and then the rock brings them back to 2S again or far slash again. Um, and then you kind of have like a little bit better of pressure than just doing close S, 2S, 2H rock, 2H um, Rekka, because then you could, uh, you could just get out. 
right? As we saw that Johnny did before, he just backdashed out. You're too far. Um, Geo ate the far slash, but. Is that their wild assault? Yeah. So yeah, flip is negative. Counter. Um, if you want to flip, you gotta be ready to RC it. You have meter, so it should be a pretty easy RC. Um. But like doing, you had. Yeah, you, you had enough pressure not to do that, um, but it's fine. That's one of those things where, like, you might, you might be, um... I shouldn't have put my face here. My bad. I just meant to take my camera off for these. I'll take them off now. Sorry. I, I'm tired. My bad. Yeah, it's giving you a lot of mileage, but I still, I still think you, you, you gotta stop relying on that option too much because people are going to start sniping it out. That's what I was talking about earlier. So, got him in the corner, bop bop, you threw sword and you immediately committed to something. You just you just gotta be ready. You just gotta hold that space and you gotta you gotta check whatever's coming. If you are gonna throw a sword there, you really have to hold that space and check stuff. You can't you can't just let them go wild. Counter hit there. Hopefully, you don't get a little ruined here. That's, that's what this Geo is doing. Nice. He gets out. What's the last match? Celestial Amelia. This one might be a little harder um, to um, analyze. Yeah. Cross up. Uh, you are playing a little too on the ground against Milia. He's, he's, uh, you're kind of doing this in the beginning too, but you stopped pretty early, so this might be a, just a problem when you don't really know what to do, um, especially against that soul. Um, you see how you're standing in place here? You should be moving. This Milia is just doing this because you're just standing there. Um, you should be trying to check her jump-ins and stuff, but alas, he got out. Um, st standing there was a bad option, though. Um, I know, like, saying they're 6 ping sometimes beats some Milias, but most of them are just going to dance on you for it. Um, that's fine. You gotta, you gotta grab. You gotta air grab her a decent amount. Um, jump P's are fine sometimes, but if she's doing, like, JH in the air or Capel, you're gonna get smacked for it. Um...
So I'm pretty sure against Amelia, flip is okay. Um, but just just remember that it is three frames. Yeah, that might have been a missed input, but I uh, just remember it is minus. So some characters are going to be able to punish it. But yeah, that that that's that's uh, that's a classic. I'm not sure if they did it right though, I could be wrong, but this is hitting same side. Yeah, this is hitting same side. So if you see this setup, this is hitting you here. I know it looks like it's hitting you here, it's hitting you here. Um, so <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the same side setup or not. He hits you forward, but he ends up behind you. That's the thing. I'm not sure if he did it right or not, but that's the setup. If you see someone doing it to you and you're like, I'm blocking this and you're not blocking it. You're getting hit by the same side. Mm. Nice 6P. Nice. You're not letting them get away with doing dumb stuff. I like the, I like the 6Ps. You know, you know what you're doing in the matchup, at least. Like, you know, you gotta 6P this character. Um, you know, you gotta air to air them, so that's fine. Um, sometimes you're just gonna get Shemex, right? Um, I think you need to be more consistent at it. And again, like, against this character doing kind of like bad or not consistent offense is gonna make them run over you because they're just gonna get out and you're not gonna be able to do anything. Um, so you only get, you know, a couple turns to live or play against this character before they start doing this stuff to you. Um, so. Being, getting your offense consistent is pretty important or else like th this should, this should be almost a kill, right? Like this, this interaction right here should be almost a kill. You might be able to kill them actually. Eh, the, the other super would have killed them, but that, 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 that one interaction you got should, should have kind of ended them. Um, that's kind of like where the matchup is, is, you know, you don't have much defensive options, but the couple interactions you get are, should be should be enough um because of low health and stuff um nice got the wall break Wh whatever you do um don't stop bursting on close slash stop bursting on close slash and single hits that's the best advice i get you not to get bait burst baited Close slash is a no go. Five K is a no go, and just single hit like two K is a no go. You really want to burst on big burst spots. You've been baited a couple times against this soul, against this Amelia. You are ba you're getting baited during so like moves that they have to commit to. Uh, bad moon, uh, you know any 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 startup of uh, disc any. If they just 2D like this, stuff like this, like doing 2K, it's too short of a cool, it's too short of a recovery to, to burst. Um, so you really want to make sure you're bursting on moves that they can't easily bait it from. And close slash is a big one, especially Milia's. It's two hits. She could jump cancel either one. Um, so I think I could be wrong about that one. This might cross you up. No, you're good. Nice. Okay, nice. It is good to always, like, even though Milia is going to mix you, you really got to make sure they're doing nice. Nice. This is good. This is a good offense. You're putting pressure on them. You're not letting them breathe. Nice. Are she here? Yep, perfect. Uh, probably rock is fine. Okay. Unfortunate. Um, with that being said, is this Maple Story music? If it is, you're goaded. Um, uh, that being said, I think you did. Okay. Um, there's some stuff to work on. I'll bring out my handy dandy notebook and kind of talk about that right now. I ended up watching the whole thing. I just want to see. Um, 
uh, better pressure mid screen and in the corner. Uh, you got to figure out your stagger pressure. You got to figure out uh, what's good. You got to figure out what people have options against. Um, again, a lot of your pressure was close slash 2S or far slash 2H. Close slash 2H into Daru, far slash 2H, Daru, far slash 2H, Reco 1. All really, I'm going to say bad. Um, there's just too much that our opponent could do to get out of that. You're not really threatening anything. Um, so like... For example, like you do close slash delay 2s, you know, let's say you want to delay 2s because now you could also close slash dash grab. Don't do a dash cancel grab, it's a dash grab, it's a difference. Um, I kind of have a couple of videos on this stuff already. You could look at like my frame trap video if you want. Um, you know, close slash 2h. You know, 5H, close, you know, you have rock, right? So close slash 2S, rock. You know, now you could do in the corner, close slash, rock. You, know, you could even do close slash 2S, rock. You know, close slash 2S, 5H. Close slash 2S, 5H, rock. And there's also the sword throw options, right? Now you could sword throw wherever you have rock. So then it becomes a little other mind game that they have to play. Um, and these all are stagger pressures. So you could delay any of these. You could you could reset some of these. Close slash 2S. Oh, they're waiting for rock. Oh, now you could, now you could get back in their face and do something if they're not fuzzing or if they're not um, prepared for it or if they're really trying to hold back for rock. Um, you could grab them. Stuff like this. So once you once you're committing to 2H, all these options kind of go away um, because they're just not scared of anything, um, and they're just FTing you out. Um, you know, close slash 2S Reco one stuff like that. Um, close slash you know just 5H delay 5H or 5 uh, 5S. Um, so you definitely need better pressure mid screen in the corner. Um, I. Would recommend not darrowing on block ever, uh, unless you know they will jump or mash, um, and you have RC to cover you. Uh, this is a big one, right? Like you're doing a minus ten move. That 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 that, that soul could have killed you, or just won the game off of that, right? Um, so don't darrow on block ever um i think you need to feel a little more comfortable playing neutral um so like more neutral more comfortable um more dash back s um quick you gotta do it quick you gotta really cover that space you gotta really hold that space for yourself um when uncomfortable don't stand still uh, this is a big one. Against a soul in the milia, you felt really overwhelmed. Uh, it was pretty apparent. You just didn't really know what to do, so you started just standing still and hitting buttons, standing still. Uh, this is a big one. You did not want to do that. You want to keep moving. You want to put out good buttons against soul, right? You want to you want a preemptive 2S. You want a preemptive 2K. Um, you want to catch them dashing at you. You know, you want to keep them away. You do not want to stand there and hit 6P and die. Um, then the against Milia, if you're just staying there, she just, she knows where to land. She's gonna, she's gonna land on you with a jump H, you're gonna die. Um, burst baiting. Uh, don't. Burst on close slash. 5k, 2k, 5p, stuff like this. Don't burst or wire C on any of these. It's bad. Uh, you can burst, you can sometimes wire C on close slash. I've not wire C on any of these though. Um, but bursting, I would not burst on these. You want to burst on high committal options. Specials. Um, uh, longs. Um, slow moves. Um, stuff like that. Like, you know, close slash 5H. They can't cancel 5H. Non cancelable. Moves 
Now, G moves you can't jump cancel. Cancel, jump cancel moves. Um, moves you can't, I don't know if I supposed to cancel right, but you guys know what I'm talking about. I think it's, it's I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. All right. Uh, yeah, high committal options, special, slow moves, non jump cancel moves. Do not burst. Um, or, or burst on these. Do not burst on these. Burst on these. Um, and then you got you gotta just choose something out the corner. Uh, choose more escape options out the corner. Jump up button won't work all the time. Stuff like that. Uh, you know, you got a ID out and say dash out. Um, ID out. Um, double jump. Stuff like that. Um, and then like, Again, like you gotta see what they've been doing. So if they're if they're just hitting you on the ground all the time, you don't have to be scared to jump out. So like you, the problem is like you would you would jump up and then you would land back and they would already be doing a move and you'd counter hit them. But like I don't think you should rely on that. I think I think that is interesting to rely on. Um, not not bad because obviously it was working, but like. Uh, again, against better players, they're gonna start air grabbing you. They're gonna start meeting you air to air, and then as so like it, yeah, let's say you know they start catching your IIDs and jump jump outs. And you could do like empty jump, run under, or you could just dash block, take space. Um, so if they jump, you just run under them anyway. Um, so choosing more options out of the corner rather than the same couple options is definitely gonna do you better. It was working for you, but I don't think you should take it working for you as good. Um, I think you should take it as it worked for me, you know? Um, and then lastly, corner pressure. Uh, just be comfortable with holding space. Be comfortable with holding space. Um, you just were not comfortable with holding space at all. Um, once you threw sword, you kind of just like did something and then the opponent just did something else. That That is your space once you throw a sword. You will now control that. Only a couple characters could fuck with you. Um, you really want to kind of check that space with 2S. Um, if they jump, you want to check their space with jump out P. But once you throw a sword, that, that is your space. And then once you start having them block sword and hold sword, um, then you could start doing more pressure, like close slash rocks and stuff like that. And um, then that's where like this kind of comes in. This, this better pressure comes in. But right now you're just not comfortable holding space in the corner. Um, and then um, thinking about where you are on the screen. This is also a big one. Um, you gotta need to know where you are on the screen again like when that soul bursted this kind of goes into this portion here you threw sword you kind of need to know where you are on the screen and why you're doing what you're doing if you threw sword there because you're like oh i'm just gonna make him block sword uh, you gotta realize like hey this is soul bad guy i'm really far from him and i kind of have him in a good spot because he's in the corner i don't really need to commit to this more risky option again like other characters are also able to get out of that so just Keeping swords and just knowing where you are on the screen is, is a good time. Um, I think it also messed you up a couple times. I'm not being able to um, figure out where because I'm not going to go back in the VOD right now. But this kind of messed you up a couple times. It kind of goes along with the Milia thing where you kind of need to know what your opponent's doing and thinking about where you are so you could kind of keep moving. Kind of goes along with like neutral, um, even though like you're technically not in neutral, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, otherwise you're pretty fine. I just think you might be a little too antsy to kind of hit them, um, when you should just be running consistent pressure and this will kind of get you really far. Um, consistency is not flashy, but it'll get you very far, far farther than you know. Um, and, uh, yeah, so 
if you have any questions on this, just message me. I'm down to talk about it. Um, and then we're going to do one more. Uh, this is a minute long, so it won't be that long. And then uh, I might watch. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's short, sadly. So I don't know how much I'm going to get out of it, but we can see what we can get out of this. Okay, nice match out. I already, I already see kind of one big problem. We'll, we'll kind of, we'll kind of address that as we watch the VOD. Uh, I think one big problem you could fix, even though this is short already. So we'll just, we'll just watch the end of this and then we'll talk about it. Sorry, I can't really. I don't need this full screen. Alright, alright, we, we actually we got a lot out of that. Even though that was only two minutes long, we got a decent chunk out of that. I'm not gonna lie. Um one thing, I know you're new. I know you're new. You are new. Um I could I could see that. Um and that's fine. I think for I think you said you have 30 hours in the game. Uh this is perfect. Uh I think you embody a new player and you're not doing too bad because you're already mashing against Eno, which is great. This is good. But Right here, I'm gonna tell you how many times you get six speed. Okay, so six speed, six speed there, I think you get out, and then boom, you get anti aired again. So, you might not be comfortable with playing the ground game yet. This is a big one. You might not be comfortable with playing the ground game yet, but you really need to learn it pretty soon. Jump, up, jump forward S is gonna get you six speed and anti aired a bunch of times. You could keep going, people are gonna get hit, especially at the lower floors. But for consistency's sake, you really have to make sure you're using buttons like 2S in neutral, 5H in neutral, 2, uh, 5S in neutral, 2Ks, running 2Ks, running 2Ss. Um, because, yeah, because, you know, some someone that's just ready to anti-air you or do moves like this is always going to hit you. Jumping is a very committal option, especially in this game. 6Ps are pretty good. Um, some characters kill you for jumping. So, um, making sure you kind of train yourself to not know that jump S is not the only option you have. 2S is really good. Running 2S, running 2Ks, even though they're weaker this patch, they're still really good. Um, 5H, 2, you know, stuff like that. You really want to play the ground game. Ram has great ground buttons. Being in the air all the time is, isn't too good. Um, and, and I would, yeah, just try, yep, perfect to us. Um, I would try invest in learning um, a little bit of corner pressure, because us, you got him in the corner here. I would have like ran up full slash. Maybe you were, I don't know if you were mashing. I don't know how, I don't even know how, oh, you're on that side of my bed. I don't even know how super came out. Oh, okay, it seemed like you wanted a super there. Um, Make sure you invest in corner pressure too. Like learning, learning neutral, learning corner pressure is like the bread and butter to playing RAM. And most characters, honestly, it's not just RAM. Um, so investing in just running up close slash and what what I explained earlier to the other person, like using these options, you know, doing doing better pressure. I do have videos on delay recas and no, not uh, delay pressure, stagger pressure, frame traps. So I'd, I'd go back and kind of focus on that 
and then um, just just kind of playing neutral. Um, some of that is outdated because of the new patch, but I'll update those eventually. Um, but definitely will should check check out. Because um, right now you're doing fine. I like the mashing against Eno pressure. Um, like the jump at S's is fine. Um, you have okay. I think you did a couple combos, which are fine. Uh, so how far this is for a new player, this is this is really good. I'd really invest early in learning how to play neutral with your character and learning how to use corner pressure effectively. And because um, just seeing right here, like you could have killed this Eno right here, um, and then oh, you did kill this Eno maybe. But nope, you got six speed, and then stroked, and then died. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, just you don't combos aren't even a thing, right? Like you don't even need to learn combos. All I'm asking is a little bit of mid screen pressure and mid screen and corner pressure, just a little bit for now. I think it'll get you really far. You'll start figuring out how to play the game a little better and stuff like that, and. Um, um, not relying on jump S. Not relying on jump S, playing neutral, really nice. So a little bit of corner pressure, a little bit of block strings, figure those out. Um, and uh, using your neutral buttons that aren't jump S. 5H, 5S, 2S, 2K, stuff like that. Uh, 5K, kind of figuring out spacing with those. And I think once you force yourself to use stuff that aren't jump S, you'll kind of start, character will start, start making a little more sense. Because I'm guessing right now a lot of people are just running into jump S because they can't anti-air. But as you go up and up in floors, people are going to start anti-airing you. And uh, that pressure is not going to be too valid. Um, uh, perfect. Um, I don't think I need a note thing for that because um, I wrote it down. So I'll go ahead and...